Ladies and gentlemen, it has been about a month since the black market update. I think it's been just over a month um, since the black market DLC. Since we collected the McLaren F1 and the Aston Martin Volante from these crates. Of course, this one is the Volante crate. And as you can probably tell from the title, we're coming back to the Aston Martin DB11 Volante today. Look at this beautiful car, man. I really like, I really love how it turned out in the end, honestly. You know, with the um, indi the indigo and the yellow. It, it, it was pretty cool, but we're going to change it a bit today. We're doing some changes. Uh, obviously, it's going to revert back to this because I, I like how it looks here. But, we're, you know, we're going to do some changes today because I finally found a way to get this car to 400 plus. I know. Crazy, isn't it? I tried like three engine swaps in the last live stream and uh, <laughs> I couldn't get it to 400 plus. So I found a way and um, I'm going to show you guys how to if you don't know already. Um, but yeah, obviously I like the default engine. They didn't stick with the old DB11 sound. They gave it a Mercedes engine, which I think really suits the car personally. Like, listen to this. That is, like, like, that's really nice. So, we're going to go back to the garage, and I'm going to show you guys which engine it is. There's literally, uh, unless you guys know any more, there's, I only know of one engine that actually maxes this car out. I know, that's, that's actually, like, really sad. Um, and it's, <laughs> it's one of the worst possible ones. It's a Nissan GTR engine. Now, I'm not saying the Nissan GTR engine is bad or anything, I'm, I'm just... It maxes out a lot of cars, you know, and I wanted a Mercedes engine to max out this car. Obviously, I'm going to revert it back to this engine because regardless of whether it's 400 plus or not, I do not care um, because we haven't got a speed list anyway. And even if there was, I wouldn't use this. So the engine is over here and we start at a 324. This one is a 322. I think the V12 might actually get up there as well. It's also this one. That might get it. I don't know. Is the Viper engine? Uh, I tried the Viper engine. It, it doesn't get to 400 plus. I tried it earlier. There's that one. V12. I tried that engine. I've tried that engine. And obviously, I've tried that engine. And uh, we've maxed it out to how it could be. I mean, we've got showcase tires. But we've only got showcase tires because <laughs> everyone knows of the DB11 and how bad it is in grip. So obviously I needed the showcase tires to help around the corner. So we could go with either the V12 or the V6. And I think we might be able to try both. I don't know. Uh, Cause I've got this Viper engine, but I'm saving that for the Ford GT when we do that at some point. But first of all, I want something that's guaranteed to get us 400 plus. I think in the next live stream, we could try the V12 with the Volante. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, here we go. And I think this is the final one that is like truly the black market DLC. Like this is the last thing I can do with the black market DLC. Because we already found out the F1 was OP. So we obviously put that, at, uh, you know, max that out. And I think that is all the way around here. Yes, it is. There it is. 400 plus. Look at that. 10 everything apart from power. But it's pretty darn quick. But anyway, let's um, get these performance things done. Swap them out, and I'm also going to do a little bit of visual customization just to make it look a little bit different for this episode. Well, look at that. Wow. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Um, this is a one-time thing, I guess. I mean, if anyone wants to copy this, do it. This wrap is the most downloaded wrap on the thing. Uh, I had to change the color a little bit, though. Um, obviously... Um, they already changed the color to complete blue. I wanted to keep it the royal indigo, so I changed that back. But yeah, what do you guys think? We've changed the rims. I've gone with stretched tires. The calipers are back to the stock Aston Martin ones. And the white light at the front. It really matches with that. And yes, I'm using the bleach filter. It looks so good, doesn't it? I love that. That's pretty darn good. So yeah, we are here with the finally 400 plus... Aston Martin DB11 Volante, finally. Uh, so, I did make a few changes, obviously. We still have the showcase tires, so luckily I was able to keep those. I was almost able to get all 10 acceleration, and if I put drag tires on, 
if you put drag tires on, you can do that, okay? I can't show you guys that right now, but yeah. I mean, we're at a 9.6 with showcase tires, so you could pretty much guess. Obviously, I didn't really change anything here. Dual turbocharger, it's still the same. Um, although, to make the acceleration better, the gearbox, uh, I usually have it at about 7 speed or 8 speed, one of them. Um, moved it down to a 6 speed with the GTR engine, so... That's pretty darn good. That aren't, that ain't bad at all. Uh, obviously, as you can tell by the neons, I've changed it to suit the lighting a bit more. So we got the purple and white instead of purple and yellow. And that is the GTR engine. So we should go out and test this now, shouldn't we? So um, there's Venturi. Uh, we can go ahead and do a, um, a black market event. There's Sway down there. I don't want to do Sway, though. We did Sway before uh, in the Cayman. Uh, but if we look around, there is, I don't think there's actually that... Uh, there isn't a lot of, um, you know, new black market events in the night. Or, well, not that I know of. There's top tier over there, but that's an F1 event. Uh, or we could go do that, I guess. Just drive around. I don't know. But we're just looking around at all these events now. Hopefully, we can find a black market one that was with the Volante. But I don't know. We can really test this game out. There's Lucky Charm there. Um, that could be one, I guess. I want to find one nearby, though. We got Aurora. Uh, they're, they're really, like, the rat, the, um, what is it? The, the reps. The, they're not, the rep's not that good. We got Savage over there. So we got Savage. Um, I don't remember doing Night Racer. I did say I just wanted to do the, uh, Volante Black Market, but whatever. Let's go do Night Racer. I feel like I ain't done that in ages. Unfortunately, most of these events are, like, 300 recommended, which is... Really, really sad, honestly. They should have been 400 because the majority of people playing the Black Market DLC have already beaten the game. Hopefully, in the next Black Market DLC, they're all 400. They, they really should be. Let's be honest. Right, let's actually, yeah, let's be honest here. Even the McLaren F1, even the, the McLaren F1 for like 300, I think, um, you know, the free DLC, the free car, yeah, keep that at 300, I guess. But. The, um, or, or, like, give us an opportunity to turn it to 400. Like, what if we, like, change the difficulty to hard, you know? I don't know. Um, but the paid one should be 400. Definitely should be 400. So here we are in the Volante, the 400 plus Aston Martin DB11 Volante. Finally. I had to, like, because of this body kit, I kind of class the Volante as a completely different car now. Like, I, I, I didn't even call it a DB11 in the video. In the, in the seven hour live stream. But whatever. In the next Black Market DLC, uh, the live uh, stream will just be the paid car now. Seeing as the majority of the views I got in that video was when I was using the F1. So that, uh, we're doing that with TJ. Um, so that will be live until we finish the Black Market. And the free car uh, from now on, we're gonna be just doing recorded and edited. I feel like I wanna do that, you know? Drag it out a little longer instead of just one day and then you know it, it's only just april and you know <laughs> i got really i got kind of bored i get kind of bored of the game but i don't it, it's really odd i don't really understand it because i take a break off this game and i end up missing it <laughs> you know it's it's really odd but it is what it is i'm really liking this rap though definitely i might keep it i don't know honestly I might take off the hood vinyls, uh, you know, those two purple parts. I don't really like them too much, but everything else is just great. I mean, look, they used the card and everything. Like, this is the Volante-themed car. I'm pretty sure this was the wrap that was on Build of the Week. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Uh, so we've got a 235 top speed. That is, that is not to be underestimated. Definitely not. We've got no cops so far, though. Which is really odd. It feels kind of weird to be playing without music. Because I've been playing a lot of this game lately. With music on. Uh, simply because I've not been doing any videos on it. So, you know. Not really had to. Uh, like, turn the music off. But I do that because, you know. Uh, I don't want to be copyrighted. But there's the fit. But yeah, this is the last Black Market DLC video I can really put out. To be honest. Because after this, I'm pretty much done with everything that we could do. Um, black market themed, you know? But, I mean, it is what it is, you know? They're only gonna last us a month. Oh, uh, well, not even that. Like, it lasted me a day, that whole black market DLC. To 
to be fair. I, I like everything else they added though, the new backfires and everything like that. That was pretty cool. Like, look at this. Those backfires. Absolutely amazing. Get out of my way. There we go. Let's NOS it. 400 plus event. You know, look, look, I, I'm still beating these. That's why the Black Market DLC events should be 400, personally. They really should be. Holy! Oh, God! Jesus! I swear we just went over that cop then. Crazy. Okay, we're starting up. Oh, Jesus. I knew someone was going to overtake us. And it's obviously the bloody Regera. God damn it. I barely ever used that car, to be fair. I don't think I've used it once since the video we did on it, if I'm quite honest. We got three laps. This is a laps race? I don't even know. I haven't done this event in ages. All right, let's not sit. Try and get as much as we can out of this corner. Beautiful overtake. Clean as you like. He's going to overtake us again, though. She's going to overtake us. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Okay. R.I.P. Lena again. There we go. We're doing pretty well so far. It does handle a bit weird, though. Um, you definitely do want to brake and clutch at the corners. That way it can be a bit better. It does steer a bit too much with the GTR um, engine swap. So I'm going to put these steering sensitiv uh, sensitivity down. It's still pretty bad. I think you should just reset it. Yeah, that's way better. So when you put the GTR engine swap in, you're probably going to want to turn the steering sensitivity back to default state. we got some cops coming around here. There they are. I hit one. Oh... Oh no, he screwed me! Get off me! Oh no! Green has overtook us again, you fucking stupid cop, man. Jesus, why? Why, man? Why? Okay, Jesus. Okay, I'm kind of struggling with um, this car's turning right now. It's not even that it's gripping, it's just drifting a bit too much. And I can't catch up with Lena, and it's winding me up. We got the high heat race unlocked, though. So, you know, we can do that next. That Charger somehow is keeping up with us. Hopefully we can catch up with Lena and win the race. See, this is why we should have 400 plus events in the Black Market DLC, you know? This is way better than those boring 300 events where we can just win right away. Like, easily. With no, barely any competition at all. Come on, man. We got this. We got this. Can we take Lena at the corner? Oh, Lena, man. Jesus. Like, I mean, it's only like one opponent that's challenging us right now. But still, you see what I mean here? Ah, oh, but Lena's going to win. I think Lena's done it. This, see, this is why it needs to be 400 plus. Look at that. Look at that overtake. Not it. We got it. Let's go. See, that's why. The black market events need to be 400 plus. Did you see how amazing that race was? That was great. A little drift challenge around here. Okay, this is pretty darn cool right now. Definitely download this wrap though. This is really nice. I'm not, keep, I'm not keeping it because I want to save wrap slots. But, I mean, I've got a photo with it now that will, will definitely be going up on Instagram. So, yeah. the win right there not the win um there's that activity done now we need to escape this cop otherwise we're not gonna make it to the high heat event where is the heat three heat three is on this highway so we can just keep going um along the you know how it performs you know and it's doing pretty well so far to be fair and the high heat events are up they're always 400 plus so you know don't have to worry about that in the slightest oh jesus Hopefully they have new backfires. I was looking at some first and everything. They've got orange nitrous and stuff like that. Payback in this game, I do not know, you know? But I, I'd love if they added them all back and if they added colored back, uh, more colored backfires. That would be sick. I'd love an orange backfire, to be fair. I feel like that could be pretty good. All right, let's get a repair in. Um, let's get a repair in right now. Boom. There we go. Car's looking nice and clean once again. 
Uh, there's Merciless. I swear Merciless is one of the black market events. Yes, it is. Oh, we could have gone to that. And is that... I think that's the F1, isn't it? Is it the F1 event? Yeah, it's the F1. Alright. Tyrannus. Boom. High heat event, high heat three. Hopefully we get something good, you know? I, the last thing I want is like a centrifugal turbocharger or just a random ultimate plus part. What you want is a dual turbocharger or one of the superchargers. Other than the centrifugal, because that one just sucks. I have it on my Drift RX-7, but that's about it. Oh, and I have it on my um, high toxicity M3, but that's about it. Join the crew, by the way. I'll probably put a clip of it at the end. I probably won't, I don't know. <laughs> probably already know already. I don't know how many views I'll get on this. Probably not that much. I'm really late on this. Um, not many people have actually 400 plus for Valante, though. A couple of big YouTubers have, but that's pretty much it. Uh, so, yeah. I, I didn't even know you could 400 plus the car. But hopefully we can 400 plus it with the V12. Oh, my God! That clipping, man. Jesus. I went to fucking... Taking a phrase from straight up hippo here. I went to fucking Zorgon. Jesus Christ. That was horrible. I think that's the worst clipping I've ever experienced. <laughs> that was wow. <laughs> that was just wow. This Volante is so good, it broke the laws of physics, bro. <laughs> it's, it's good though, it's pretty quick. I think if you put if you put the GTR engine swap in, it makes the car so much better. Look at these overtakes. Oh, I'm killing it right now. GT3 RS over there. We're going to do that at some point. I'll probably set that car flying to be fair. Oh, Jesus. Just saw that corner at the last possible moment. Look at that. We're doing pretty well right now. Let's say... Oh, ho, ho. this handles really well. You know, I was having a little bit of trouble on the last event, but that's mainly because there was some off-road parts. But this, well, this part, I'm doing pretty good right now. I won't lie. GTR engine swap definitely, definitely helps the Volante. Definitely. And there it is. Across the line. And a new volatile part as well. We're only on heat level 4 though. So I think we should do another sprint race. Is there a black market one nearby? There's probably... Uh, I know there's Sway. I don't want to do Sway. <laughs> you know? We'll probably have to do it though, yeah. Let's, let's go do Sway. We'll go do Sway, and then we'll go on our way to the Heat 5 event, I think. And we're gonna go right past this copper. He's got his sirens on. Let's go into the container yard. Is he following us? I think he is. And there's a copper right now. In the corner at the event. Let's um, run over here. There we go. And boom. Beautiful. That's how you play Need for Speed Heat. That's how you do it. I think I could beat that world record, you know. I've just never attempted it. I don't know why. But I, I just haven't really had the time, to be honest. You know, I, there's always some other stuff that I want to do in this. It's the only car you can really use. I mean, someone actually got the original world record with the Evo, but everyone since has done it with the RSR, so... I mean, I don't know. You know, I'll, I'll, attempt, I'll attempt it first with the RSR. Or maybe I... I feel like I could do really good if I attempted the world record. Let's take a, Let's just take a load of jumps. I think this event in the Black Market DLC was about taking the jumps. Fuck me, okay. Not a good idea, Jesus Christ. We didn't actually take that much damage from that, though. There we go. I'm just going to take another jump here. <laughs> Whoop! And we'll take that first spot back. Oh, almost landed on that car. Jesus, let's um, handbrake around that corner. Beautiful. This body kit is great, though. Like, if you don't think this body kit is absolutely, like, amazing, I've never seen anything like this. And I hope they do more. You know, I've literally never seen anything like this in my life, especially that grill. Like, bro, <laughs> the light up grill is amazing. And I wish Kaiser Celine did 
you know, more like that with the other cars because he really let he let us down with the IA and the, the Mercedes. You can't you can't dispute that. Even with the Evo, I guess I don't really like the Evo that much. I think in the grey and blue wrap, the PlayStation exclusive wrap, it looked pretty good. Like in the exclusive wraps, I think they're all the same, just different colours. But the green one, I think he let us down. <laughs> He let us down with three of those cars. The Grand Sport was amazing. Um, the F1, I don't like the F1 that much, but a lot of people do, so I won't say anything about that. But the Volante is easily the best one. This and the Corvette, actually, yeah. This and the, this and the Grand Sport are the best KS kits. There we go, we got a nice lead so far in Sway. And then we'll get onto Heat 5 in a bit. Oh my god, it handles pretty well though, honestly. I feel in, in grip it obviously doesn't because everyone knows that, but you know, it's, it's pretty good. It's not too bad in the slightest. Handles pretty nicely. Just put showcase tires on, that's all you need to do really. Showcase tires definitely helps. Yeah, there's a nice little drift around there. Beautiful, let's take this jump. Woo -wee! There it is. I like Sway. Because it, it literally lets you take those jumps in the events, and that's always something I want to do. Every time I see a jump in an event, I'm like, oh my god, I want to do that, but I know I'm going to miss a checkpoint, so, you know. But, yeah, I hope they do more events like this. I don't mind smashing the billboards. A lot of people don't like that because it's not Need for Speedy, but it, it is. It, billboards are a thing in Need for Speed, so it's a Need for Speed thing now, and it has been since Payback, I guess. I mean, it was a thing in Most Wanted 2012 as well. And there you go. Right, Heat 5, hopefully now. Come on, that's got to be Heat 5. I'll heat up. Going on right now. Come on. I see him. I see him. Fuck, are you serious? Ah! Come here, copper. I just want you to follow me. Where is he going? He just he just did a U-turn man. You can see that on the map. <laughs> Come here! Motherfucker! Ah, oh, Jesus. Here he is. There. There we go. Right, follow me. Follow me and get my heat off. Uh, I didn't go that way, mate. <laughs> 2015! <laughs> it's ever since they know. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, no! I did not expect that. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Back it, there we go. Shoot. Oh, right, I'm definitely regretting this right now. Did I reinflate tires in time? Yes, I did. Get out of the way of that Corvette. We need to get to Edgewood Valley and quick. Oh, fuck, I'm definitely regretting that. I only smashed one cop and then three literally came around the corner. That was insane. Oh, shoot. This is not right. This is not cool. This is fucking bullshit. Okay, I think if we take the speed trap, we'll definitely get onto Heat 5 now. A oh, rhino's literally coming around from ah! Jesus Christ, did you see that? I only saw a glimpse of it, but that was terrifying. Alright, we're in Heat 5 now. Oh, fuck! I need to get up there, man. In your own. Oh shit, this is like the clear this busted right now. Get out! There we go. Oh, there was two rhinos in the area, man. Oh, they are not liking me tonight. Holy shit. That engine off now. Look at how cracked up our vehicle is now. That was crazy. That's the that's like the most I've come to getting busted since before the cops got nerfed. That is insane. Alright, we're gonna try and get to the gas station now. 
Oh shit, oh I love that. Let's hear that again. The damage critical sound is easily the best thing about Nighttime, man. And then you can hear that like squeal. It's brilliant, it's so cool. Damage critical has gotta be one of the coolest things in this game. Like just the aesthetic and the atmosphere of it, it it's brilliant. It was a brilliant idea with the sound effects and everything. But there we go, we're out of it now. So we're going to be working our way towards Heat 5 now. Um, hopefully we don't encounter any cops on the way there, but I think we will. Because I think the Heat 5 event is in Eden Shores. I guess we'll see, because we're going through the city now. So if, we're gonna, if there's going to be cops anywhere, they're going to be in the city. I'm really loving this right now. Obviously, I'm going to swap the engine back to the Mercedes sounding one, the stock engine, but, you know, it's not that bad at all. Uh, so definitely, like, if you aren't as picky as I am with the engine sounds and you want to max this to 400 plus, definitely put this engine in. It's very good. It's pretty darn good. There we go. Woo! Look at the handling, man. It's so good. <laughs> I've, I've mastered this game's handling, let's be real. But you can master any game's handling if you play it enough. And New Horizons, there you go. It's a 399. I don't understand the recommended level there. Like, why wouldn't it be 400 plus? Why is it 399? <laughs> anyway, here we are, guys. Finally. It's Easter next week, so I'm kind of thinking of doing, like, an Easter special. I don't know. We will have to see, I guess. Um... I don't know, because obviously we'd do it with TJ, but uh, yeah, I don't know, we, we'll have to see. Cause Easter is next week, guys. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing this week, I did like triple uploads. I did a double upload on Saturday and a triple upload yesterday, so I'm only doing this one upload today, so don't expect a double upload or anything, because I'm exhausted. Um, so there we go, look at this fire, look at the flames, I got a nice photo with the Cayman the other day, that will also be going on my Instagram. Jesus. Do this. Oh shit. Okay. Flynn's battling here. Oh no, he's not. There we go. There's a nice overtake right there. Woo wee! There's a little tandem going on there. P1 GTRs. We're up with them. Let's NOS. Let's let's use all the NOS tanks. Come on. Woo! Shit! This is quick. Ah, we got first place. Let's fucking go. Shoot. Oh, what a corner. That was, um, that was picture perfect. This car handles really well when you, you know what parts to put on it. Definitely put showcase tires on. Showcase tires, track suspension, track differential. That's, that's perfect for this car. Handles so well. Oh shoot, that could not be helped. Fucking the traffic in this game, easily the worst part of this game in my opinion. Um, and I bet in a lot of people's opinions, especially people who play the game often, as often as me, traffic is easily the worst thing about the game. They're just so brain dead. <laughs> They're horrible. Yeah, here we go. Not even 50% through the event, but I think we've got this. Heat level 5. 605,000 reps so far. So I don't I don't actually think they nerfed the rep. I just think they nerfed the rep on certain events that people did a lot. Which does make sense, honestly. I don't know. We'll have to see when we go for the world record. Um, but yeah, that video is definitely coming. I, I, I'm not ending... I'm not leaving this game without attempting that, you know? So that's coming in the next couple months. Because we're going to start the Payback Let's Play in probably June, perhaps July, uh, most likely July. So, you know, we'll have to see. We've got a helicopter, we've got the chopper on us now. We're going to win this race, we're going to escape to the garage, we're going to be all fine and dandy. That Corvette is going to stay with us though, isn't he? <laughs> He's going to stick on my ass. No, go away, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, shoot. There's another one. Are you kidding me? 
Hopefully they crash into each other or something, that'd be cool. It's always cool when they that when that happens. Unless there's a rhino incoming. He's invisible! That's not right! That's not fair! That's what I complained about in my last Need for Speed video. Get out of here. We go, nice little corner right there. We're going into Fort Murphy now. If the if the um, if it finishes there, we'll do well to get into the containing lot, I guess. And then we can escape right to Fort Murphy. There's another rhino. But still, he's invisible. Then we saw him afterwards. He spawns when he's past you. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh god! Oh my god! He made me jump. <laughs> Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh god, he's picking on me! Oh! Ah! Oh no! Did they de nerf the cops? I don't know, but they're sticking on me! Oh my god! Attack it! Oh shoot! Okay, we've almost got a million reps! Oh shoot! Okay, they're sticking on me right now. Oh Jesus! Could, you do, do you think we could do one more event? I guess I could just do a little bit more editing, put a few more parts out, and get a million rep for the first time since before the black market update because for some reason I've not been able to do it Can that mate you're not making no <laughs> get out of here oh shoot here we go then that should get us easily to a million look at the rap man I'm really I'm really loving the rap right now go download it for yourself I need to save rap slots but definitely um Definitely go down there. Here we go then. Woo. Hopefully they have more wrap slots in the next update. If they do that, I'll get this wrap back. If they do that, I'll, I'll just make a new Volante, give it this engine slot, and yeah, whatever. Anyway, here we are. Oh shoot. We were first place for a second. Oh, there we go. Getting around that traffic car. Ooh, there we go, that handbrake saved us there. That little sway where it pulls you to the side. I mentioned that in my Need for Speed Heat is Dead video. Um, so, that's been in since 2015. How did the AI cars do so well to get past the traffic cars and I fucking can't? Oh, they don't turn corners very well. Man, the AI always turn corners horribly. <laughs> always turn them horribly. Let's try past that cop. There's going to be more spawned right away. He's going to knock more. Let's get out of here. Look so around there. Beautiful. We're only 35% through the event. But right after this, we're going to work our way back to the garage with a million, with one million rep. That wasn't even my aim going into this episode. I just wanted to do the high heat events, but... You know, I guess we've got a million, and I'm going to have to do a bit of editing. Like, a lot of editing. A lot more editing than I usually do. Obviously, because I don't want the video to be too long, you know? If it's over half an hour, then I'm not going to like it that much. <laughs> so, you know, try and cut it down. The NOS right there is the boost. Around that corner. Oh, that was horrible. I could have done well. I could have done well better there. We're going into the city now. Okay. Let's do it around there. Oh, that's beautiful. There's another cup right here. Oh, we're looking really. We're looking sick up here right now. Way ahead of second place. Oh shoot! That was a bit close. Over 
over this bridge. 79% through. We've got this. In the bag. In the fucking bag. I can't believe I'm cheering over 1 million rep. But seriously, I haven't got 1 million rep in ages. I mean, if I tried, I could have, but... I wasn't even trying this episode, so, you know. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that was decent handling there. Decent. Okay. We can get around that corner quick. No, we won't be able to, so we'll get a cop after us. Not too bad. Unless he turns left. No, he's turning right. Of course he is. Lad. Wait, I think we're going to escape him though, because he's off road. There's a chopper coming though, so if we escape him straight away... Ooh, that was close. Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. How did they know I was coming this way? Why are the spike strips here? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we better... Um... Oh, god damn it, man. Everything's going against me right now. We better get back to the fucking garage. Okay, this was pretty close. This was a nice... This was a great night. The last two have been really great nights. The one with the cayman was pretty good, but this one was even better, and I'm glad I, I'm glad it's part of the episode. Wow. That was epic. That was actually, like, sick. And there you go. That was the 400 plus Aston Martin DB11 Palante. We're not done with this car. I think in the next live stream, we're going to see if the V12 engine gets um, the Volante to 400 plus, And then I think we'll be done with this car, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, guys. I appreciate everyone for stopping by. Uh, let's see what we unlocked. We unlocked some turbochargers. What did we get? Screw supercharger and a root supercharger. Not too bad at all, obviously. I didn't have them in my inventory anyway, so perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Need for Speed Heat. If you liked it, hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. Let me know what you did with the Volante and what you think about this wrap. I honestly think this wrap is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm not keeping it though. I want to save wrap slots ready for the next DLC. Uh, but definitely go download this wrap for yourself. Uh, I think it really suits the car. I think the purple and yellow suits the car more. So maybe change those pink parts. Uh, that lead from the car trail or maybe they're part of it. I don't know um, But whatever, you know It looks good I you can look you can make this car look good in many many ways I'm I prefer to stick with what I originally had which was the purple and uh, which was the indigo and Yellow so yeah guys whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching I'm really looking forward to the next black market DLC whenever that comes out. Hopefully it's this month it's either, th if it's not this month, it's definitely going to be next month. It it's got to be. Like, they can't, they're definitely, like, EA said, they're working from home. So, that means they're working on a DLC. And it's going to take a little longer to come out, but if it's not this month, it's got to be next month. It has to be, you know? They have so much planned that, surely, you know, we'll see, you know? Obviously, I'll make a video on it when it gets announced, or if anything gets announced, anything big, I'll make a video on it. Yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Comment, share, and subscribe. Stay safe, stay inside, and uh, I'll see you soon. Peace!